Here I'm with Aaron from uh, Retro Hack Shack and we just got his Naboo hooked up online. How exciting is that? So he had uh, an issue which was kind of surprising because um, he's running off a of Raspberry Pi here. So you can see um, that we're gonna modify the program to be a little quicker. But the issue was that he got a pinout for the five pin DIN off the internet and it was backwards, it was reversed. So we were fighting with it for a while trying to figure out what is going on here. So I had modified the website now on the internet adapter download page. There is a, uh, there we go, there's a proper pinout. So I got this pinout from Wikipedia. You can also find the, find the link inside of the video here. But now we're, uh, <laughs> we're downloading programs and playing games and it's pretty awesome. So I hope that you're gonna be excited to see his video when it's launched. He did a little interview with me about my history and everything with this Naboo. So pretty cool to watch it actually, watch another Naboo run. That's great. Aaron, you want to say goodbye? Say something? Yeah, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> okay, man. Well, uh, and especially thanks to DJ for the help getting this thing figured out. And uh, uh, whoever put that inverse image of the uh, DIN connector online, I'm going to hunt you down. Uh, because <laughs> that cost me like about five hours of my life that I'm never going to get back. <laughs> yeah, really. And I could, I could be downstairs eating ice cream right now, but instead it's a midnight and I'm here watching a Naboo boot up. So <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thanks for your help, man. You bet. Okay. See you guys. Bye-bye. I'm appending to the last video because we were uh, getting the games to load on, uh, on Aaron's Naboo but they were loading super slow because he's using Raspberry Pi Zero. So what I did is I added a new option into the menu where you can enable or disable the progress bar because with the progress bar enabled on a slower machine that's trying to render all the, the GUI, it slowed down so much that it took like, what would you say, Aaron, a minute or so? Maybe longer? Yeah, it'd be, or more than that, I would say, yeah. Yeah. Probably took about a minute or a little longer to load a program. So we modified that and added that new option. So if you want to download the new version and get that option, it'll be great. Also, there's a change to the configuration storage. So we're storing the configuration file in a different location for Raspberry Pi users because the user share folder is owned by root. So uh, give us a demo of your, of your machine loading now. All right, here we go. Okay. So you see there's no progress bar but we can watch the packets fly by. And yep. one of the things you can notice is that they're incremental. So you see how every single packet has an ID that is incrementing. They're not, the NABU is not asking for the packet again a second time. If you see it asking over and over again, that's because your TX delay value is probably too low because what'll happen is it doesn't get all of the commands. Okay, that's it for real this time. Okay, say goodbye to everyone, Aaron. Bye guys. <laughs> all right, see you guys.